The Duianes Opakurochagi is the short back spinning kick or spinning crescent kick. This is a circular kick. So in order to spin quickly and get that circular feeling, you want to have a short base. You can perform this kick by either driving the weight forward or by driving the weight back in preparation for the kick. Regardless, as you begin to perform the kick, you want the weight to drive forward. In order to do that, your front leg will pivot on the ball of the foot, lifting the heel. At the same time, you want to try and squeeze your knees together, creating this internal uh, tension. At the same time, your lower body is going to turn away from the target, so the belt knot twists away, but you want your arms, your upper body torso to turn towards the target. So again, you're creating this internal tension in the body from the lower extremities up through your torso. Shisun stays forward facing the target. One. Then as you're ready to, uh, to perform the kick, weight is going to uh, go into the front heel. And at the same time, you're going to first untwist your upper body then untwist your lower body, and then you've got uh, a nice position to lift the leg up for the Duyana Sopakarochagi. Once you get the hang of it, you want to make sure that the highest part of the kick is right in front of you here, and then you're striking down on the target. A common mistake that you'll see is that people lift the leg too soon. See how there's a little bit of a lean as I try and extend that leg forward, but it falls short, and then you end up having the kick over here at the side and, and missing the target altogether. More patience is required, where first you untwist your upper body, untwist your lower body, then lift the leg up and kick. You'll see a better result.